So then let's now go for the next topic where we will talk about let's say distribution boxes at the end. Here I would like to start with a picture which is showing how these distribution boxes are used next to the track. Yes, that's a typical European Alp situation, but it can also be out in the Rocky Mountains where you see what's happening to these kind of boxes. In winter time they look like this, you even see the water in form of ice dribbling down. So we have to make sure ingress protection is definitely as needed IP66, maybe IP69, when cleaning with, a, with, a, with water stream, maybe even IP69, so to say. So this is one thing. But you know it all with the two-day global thing that the water uh, can also go in from ice going into water. When it goes into water, then we have a higher temperature. So there is quite some stress on this material. So let me walk over to our distribution box we prepared here for you as kind of a mock-up because this is now a grey one. So same thing, uh, next to the track, uh, sometimes quite exposed because you see it's rather high. And what do we do? We have the, the cables in there, that's why it's called distribution box, we distribute the cables. So one thing is of course to corrugate the conduit, Heinz already told us, multi-layer is here the key to have it fast installed, low friction, etc. The other thing where we are more than happy to help you is with the form at the end, how you do the technical design. Here on this one we did it with a 45 degree angle fitting to make sure that the cable smooth and soft goes out and then goes into the ground. We could also have used, like Heinz was saying, a 90 degree or whatever is needed there. Of course, we also have all the different, the different uh, diameters fitting to this one. What I was also talking was in regards of the ingress protection. So, this is at the end for me a little bit the key. Because with the ingress protection you define what kind of fitting to use. But all the ingress protection you can not influence at the end, but the installation can be influenced. That's why we always try to go with the corrugated conduit in the direction of the ground. Why? Because if water is coming down here, falling on the, on the system, it triples just away. If I would do it upside down, so to say, the water will stay on the fitting. You saw the picture before with all this ice. And the uh, ice in plastic, I think we all tried it when we've been at school, putting water into a bottle, glass and plastic and put into the freezer, next morning it was exploded. So that's why it is important that this design is also with a design we can influence the lifetime and performance of the product. Now we have been talking about, uh, about installation of the corrugated conduit. What I would like to show you is now a little movie how easy it is to install the corrugated conduit, then pull the tray cable through the fitting and then how to fix the corrugated conduit to the fitting. So let me show this by a little movie. So it was a rather long movie and I can tell you why, because these are our installation, manual, use, cooling, whatever you want to call it, movies. All of them are available on our YouTube channel for all the different systems that we have. 
And we really strongly recommend if you have new people in your group or if you didn't do an installation for a couple of months, which I don't hope, I hope you do it every day, but if you don't do, have a look at this movie just to refresh it, how it is to install the PMAK protection system. Another thing I would like to mention, again going in the direction of the, of the picture I showed before with this eyes on it, and that is this one standing on the conduit. So you see my safety shoes and you saw how heavy I am. So that is definitely something which has happened quite often. It's laying on, on the side of the track, people walk there, maybe animals, it's also possible, so an elk or something else is standing on this kind of corrugated conduit. We make sure that our multi-technology makes it possible that also this force is well absorbed. How do we do this? Let me show a little movie. So, you saw this movie, for me it's quite impressive how this, this metal rod is jumping up and down on the corrugated conduit and the conduit frozen down to minus 40 degrees. Sorry, I don't know it in Fahrenheit if you are from the US, but it's really, really cold. In Switzerland we get temperature as low as minus 30, in this range minus 40. I don't remember when last time we had minus 40 in Switzerland. It's very rare, 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 I would say. But we test always so to say over the limit and that's why we tested this with minus 40 degrees.